Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used the stamp set piece of cake. It's all about birthday cakes. There is a uh, punch to go with this but I don't have it. It was on back order when I ordered this and so I never got it. But we can quite easily cut these cakes out. So, um, yeah, we're going to use this cake, the stand, the happy birthday, and inside we're going to put count the good times, not the candles. And we're also going to put the candles on the inside. Um, so for this, you'll need, let's go all them out of the way, scraps. card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth and folded in half Let's move all these out of the way um, a piece of basic black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and you'll need this is from the butterfly gala series paper. I'm using the spots and these are three inches by one and seven eighths. So you need two at that size. Go like that. And the other ones are two and three eighths by one and seven eighths. And they will go there. You'll also need some basic black to cut a oval out, which I've already done. And I'm changing the Daffodil Delight to Blushing Bride. So these are stamping up oval, layering ovals, number six. Both of them are number six. And they will go like that. On there. <coughs> so that's that. You also need a scrap of pink to cut punch one of these little flowers out might as well do that now these are from a, a four pack of little punches from bloom by bloom so there's my little pink flower put that away um, for the sentiment I use the double banner punch and we'll use one of them when we stamped it so you'll need some scrap for that and some scrap for the cake and stand so we'll stamp them first put them to one side bring our black in I'm using VersaFine Onyx black ink and stamp the stand Don't want to get ink on me fingers before I even get started. Boom stamp. Right, and now for the cake. Nice. stamp um, yeah, I'll do the sentiment on here happy birthday do that I'll punch that out um, and then we need the inside bit might as well do all our stamping together. Count the good times, not the council candles. This is so tiny, this stamp. Uh, 
and then just dump the candles and place them at the bottom. There we are. And that's our stamping done. So close that up before I put my fingers in it. Close my cloth up. Right. This will punch out. Do I think I'll use the top one if I can. For some reason, my punch never opens properly. I never get the card in properly. So I'm going to now stick to my bottom one. That's not straight. straight punch it out there's my sentiment got a spare one go in my box all right these we're going to colour in in blushing pride and all I've done is use my marker pens for a change and colour in the icing I hope you all had a good St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Mind you, by the time you see this, it will all be over and forgotten with. Because it'll be April when you see this. Right, I'm also going to colour in the cake stand. This is just a quick card to make, even quicker if you've got the punch. You don't have to cut it out by hand. And this one, I'm going to do the top of the candles. I know they should be yellow, but I've done them pink. And colour the candles in black. Oh no, I know what else I did. With my black pen and the inside to the back of me, I run my black pen. Ooh, missed. Just across, along the edge. And this is the reason why you keep it, the back of it, to you. Because if you go off the page like I'm doing terribly today, and that will just make that stand out on the white background of the card. So that's that. Right. 
with your paper snips you need to cut out or punch out if you've got the punch the cakes cake but it is so easy to cut out that's better I'm just leaving a tiny white border all along the edge of the cake and I'm moving the card rather than the scissors when I'm cutting just makes it a lot easier and there is a cake now for the stand even a tiny border and then just follow it round are quite easy to cut out just went a little bit off there that's it talk and cut at the same time and then just follow that round and now we have a nice cake stand and we'll get rid of this rubbish so now all we've got to do is put this card together so we'll stick these bits on first get my glue and some glue around the edges this is not working better this down you leave a very tiny border on the edge of it and at the top and stick that down and you take a long piece I don't know what's wrong oh just put that down so it's wrong with my glue
throw it about. Right, do the same with this, put a little border. And then get the smaller one again, or the other smaller one, and put that on this side. So you have it like that. And we need to get our oval. And glue that to the blushing bry scalloped oval. And then this will get stuck on with dimensionals. I've got bits of dimensionals here, so I'll use these up. Huh. Finished. Just going to stick that in the middle. Right. Um, oh, I also forgot what I was doing. And now we're going to put these. Where did my little pink flower go? Come on, can you see it? I lost my pink flower. No, can't see it. Oh, I found it. I want that to sit right at the top. So the cake needs to go under there. Stand under there. And the sentiment under there, just like that. But first of all, let's stick this on here. And then we could stick this bit in as well. I will open a new bottle of glue. Right. I did say I'm going to put the little flower on the dimensional. So I want a tiny or a small that's um, dimensional on the back I'm going to sit that up there and I'm working 
down the way but that's one way of getting everything where I want it and glue the cake you've got a choice here you can either put the cake on dimensionals and um, glue this flat which is what I done with this one I glued it flat and put the cake on dimensionals but this time I've put this on dimensionals and I'm gluing the cake flat Right now for the cake stand. Oh, it's upside down. Right, place that evenly on there for the cake to I'll lift it up a bit, and then. The sentiment, and I want the stand to sit on the sentiment a bit like that. That needs a little tiny bit of glue under there. That's it. All we've got left to do is add a black gem to the centre of that flower. And I'll take that off. That's it. Not in the centre, is it? There, you have a Blushing Bride um, uh, birthday cake using the Piece of Cake stamp set for a quick and easy card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell button next to it you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thank you for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.